world. Welcome to Friday follow-up here on Two Guys on the Couch. I am George. And I'm Joe. We're here to wade through the bullshit, give you our opinions on upcoming movies and games. We're going to kick off some news that we sort of missed towards the end of last week. But Judge Dredd is making his return. In 3D! Yep, they're making a 3D Judge Dredd with $45 million. Yeah, it's going to start filming this fall. And now you compare something like Captain America, where Marvel's spending $140 million to make it in 2D, versus this movie, which is going to be made in 3D for $45 million. I can already tell you it's going to be shit. Oh, shit! It's going to be post-3D, and it's going to look flat, bland, and retarded. Mm -hmm. People die. The Wachowski siblings are doing a secret sci-fi war movie it's based gonna, on Iraq. So. It's going to be a hard R about a homosexual relationship between a U.S. soldier and an Iraqi. The whole world's gone gay! Okay, first off, I can tell you right now, it's going to do shit in theaters. Yeah. It's not, I'm, not, I'm, not being, I'm not being bigoted or anything like that. Homosexual movies don't do well in theaters. That's what he said, right, guys, because of gay? It's going to do well at Cannes because the artsy people with Cannes, over at Cannes. And it's going to do well in California because the huge gay population in California. For the rest of the United States, you know, where the majority of the money is made, I mean, they're not going to see it. What's going to amaze me is the fact that they're attacking, I don't know what we'll say attacking, but because, but... Did you just have a brain fart? Begging your pardon, sir? Having an Iraqi as a homosexual is not going to sit well with the Muslims. It just won't. No. I mean, you might as well just go ahead and put a bomb on Mohammed and put that in the... Oh, wait a minute. Wachowskis, we get it. You're gay. But one of you is gay. Stop making gay fucking movies. Bound, the worst part of Bound was the gay part of it. The rest of the story was actually pretty entertaining. Actually, I thought the, I thought the gayness between uh, Jennifer Tilly. Well, the, the sex scene, yeah. that was good. But I mean, I mean the, the stupid love story was yeah, stupid. The stupid love story. Uh, v for Vendetta. The gay part was stupid. It was the worst part of the entire fucking movie. Yeah. The uh, the people the the gay people in in the rape scene. Come on. But it's the end of the world, and the population was what like a couple thousand people. Like they're not going to be gay people. I'm sorry, all you gay people out there that think oh it's not it's not going to matter. No, it's going to matter because we're going to need. Children. Really? Gay people don't produce children. I don't know if you noticed this, but it takes a man and a woman to produce a child. What? No. Movie news from the video game front. We all know how we feel about video game movies. Yeah. First off, the video game was horrible. And it was nothing more, th but it was nothing more than a movie to begin with. Yes. Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain story was ass. Heavy Rain was ass. It wasn't compelling, it was boring and dull. And it's going to be the same for a movie. It wasn't intriguing, I didn't give a fuck. It had shitload of loopholes. The whole game might as well just be a big old ass on the front of it. And this, here you go. Heavy Rain, it's ass. Ass! Oh yeah, and the fat guy's the killer. Spoilers! Ah! Spoiler alert much? Some positive news, more positive news coming out of Transformers 3. Megan Fox will not be returning. Thank you, Jesus. She was seen on set and doing some previs stuff and post-production stuff, and they uh, apparently she's not going to be in it. Instead, they're replacing her with the chick from Prince of Persia, Gemma Arterton. And you know what I think is funny is they actually said they actually made a point to say that this has nothing to do with Megan Fox calling. Michael Bay Hitler on set. Yeah, has nothing to do with that one. You are stupid. The only uh, real game news that I found interesting, we found interesting this week, comes from a big debate that's online right now about what Electronic Arts is doing with their online pass 
starting with their sports franchises, and they're probably going to move it into their other games like Mass Effect or mm -hmm. uh, Battlefield. Or, and that is, if you buy the game new, it's no different than buying any game new. You pop it in, you play the single player, you go online, you play the multiplayer. If you buy the game used, and the person who bought the game before you knew already used a code that comes in the box, you cannot play your multi the multiplayer portion of the game. You have to pay EA $10 to get a fresh code to play the multiplayer. And the big debate online is, oh, this is, this is you know, terrible. This is EA, they're just greedy and they want to make money. Yeah, they're a company. That's what they do. That's called capitalism. That's a bad thing in today's universe. No, come on. First off, game, this whole if you want to blame anybody for this, blame GameStop. They're the ones who are shoving it up the, the game company's asses by giving you $20 for a new trade-in, then marking the price up to $55 and not giving any bit of that to the companies. It's yeah. all profit for them. Yeah, whenever you trade in a game at GameStop, they take that game, they stick a $55 price you know, sticker on it, put it back on the shelves, and sell it to somebody else. And all that money is profit for GameStop. Mm -hmm. The the actual company sees none of that. That's like a hundred and fifty dollar profit, right? A hundred and fifty percent profit. Like the uh, and all EA is trying to do is make money off the products that they spend millions of dollars to develop that people love to play. God you know forbid they want to make money off their efforts. How about this? Buy the game new. If you want the game, buy it new. Don't say, oh, I'll save five dollars. It's five. Fucking dollars! Now you're not going to get that. It's going to be more if you buy it used. Like, and also I can understand maybe sometime down the road when the used game price drops down to the thirty, forty dollars, you want to pick it up then used, spend the ten dollars. You're still paying less than sixty bucks to play it. But then again, if you're buying it down the road when it's that cheap, most likely this is a year, year and a half later. Nobody's playing it online anyway, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Most of these games, it's like. Especially when it comes to the sport franchises. No one's going to be playing the same sport franchises because a new sport franchise will be coming up. Yeah. It's not like Halo. No shit. This weekend, the only thing that comes out in the box office is Shrek 4. And I'm not seeing it. He's going to see it, so he might give you your opinions. I yeah. don't really like the Shrek movies, so I'm not going to see it. But coming on Monday for our review, we're going to review Alan Wake that came out this week. We're going to review The Pacific, the... HBO miniseries that wrapped up Sunday, yeah, and uh, also look at the Alan Wake shorts that were made for Alan Wake, the promotional uh, for Alan Wake over Xbox Live. But uh, we're, we're, as we leave you, we're gonna give you a message from the guy running for Alabama Commissioner of Agriculture, Dale Peterson. Now this is this is our badass thing of the week because. You know, I don't care what side you on. You watch this. You watch this and be like, dude, that guy's badass. I'm Dale Peterson, and I'm after the Republican nomination for Alabama Agriculture Commissioner. I've been a farmer, a businessman, a cop, a Marine during Vietnam. So listen up. Alabama Ag Commissioner is one of the most powerful positions in Alabama, responsible for $5 billion. Bet you didn't know that. You know why? Thugs and criminals. If they can keep you in the dark, they can do whatever they want with all that money. And they don't give a rip about Alabama. Here we are, losing three family farms a day. Illegals bust in by the thousands, and Alabama's unemployment's at an all-time high. And what are my opponents doing about it? Stealing yard signs in the dark of night from my supporters. Norman Grace brags on his Facebook page about receiving contributions from industries he would regulate. Bragging about receiving illegal money on Facebook. Who on earth would support such a dummy? And why? We're Republicans. We should be better than that. I'm Dale Peterson. I'll name names and take no prisoners. Give me the Republican nomination for Ag Commission, and let's show Alabama we mean business. And this is pretty much proven that uh, people throughout the, you know, uh, running politics, we're, they're getting a little sick of government on all levels. It's not just governors or senators anymore. This is Commissioner of Agriculture. Who the fuck even knew that was a job? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's 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 fantastic, and like I said, I would vote for him. People in California, liberals, has given have given him money. It's like you know what, you're awesome. Here's some money. But uh, for 
all of our videos. You can check us out at tuxedocast.com and also at mediaslayerproductions.com. Arthur finally has a site up. Yes, uh, it's running well. It's running pretty good. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash tuxedocats, and at facebook.com slash tuxedocats. Now, for two guys on the couch, I'm Joe. And I am George. We'll see you next time here on the couch. I like to